Hello, welcome to Road TC. This is part three of building a bike out of bamboo, or trying to, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're using a kit from a company called the Bamboo Bicycle Club. Um, if you want to have a look at that kit, there's a link to it in the description below. So, last last week we uh, did mostly sanding. Yeah. I think it's fair to say. A lot of sanding, a, lot of a sanding. little bit of gluing. Yes. And not very much bike building, really. Although, you know, it's starting to look like yeah, a little bit like a bike. Um, this week, uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be more of the same. So we've got to try and get the front triangle done um, and hopefully work towards the rear of the bike. That's the plan. If you haven't a clue what we're talking about, then you can go back to parts one and two uh, of our series of how to make a bamboo bike, where we do a lot of sanding, a little bit of gluing and minimal bike building. Yeah, absolutely. So without further ado, let's get on and uh, where's our sandpaper? <laughs> Cool, so we finally got our down tube in place and mitered correctly and it all looks nice, fits well. So now the next job is we've got our seat post that we've put the insert into here and uh, now we're offering it up to the uh, frame. It's a bit long and also we've got the down tube in here, we have to cut around that so it's just a case of shaping this end a bit and making sure it all fits nicely. So that's the next job. More filing and more sanding and more sawing. It's basically GCSE woodwork. Okay, so here we are, and it's starting to look a bit like a bike now. We've got the down tube in, we've got the seat tube in, we've done the, the difficult junction at the bottom, and now we've just got to put the top tube along. We're going to cut it here, and uh, this is going pretty well now that we've uh, made some progress, which took a while. Yeah, I, think I thought I'd be sanding forever at one point. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's starting to look sort of bike shaped at the front now, so yeah getting there we're getting there and um, we're hoping to get this finished and then we'll work on the on the rear triangle which there's there's some bending to do in that so that'll be a bit of a change from sanding yeah I'm looking, I'm looking, forward, to I'm looking forward to that very much yeah It does have to be said that this is getting a lot easier to do. I don't know if it's because the, the tubes are getting smaller or just because we're getting better at knowing what we're doing, but these ones don't seem to be taking as long and you know it's coming together quite quickly now, so that's good. I say that, I'll probably be stuck here for hours now sanding this one out and it'll all go wrong. We'll have to start again, but we'll see. This is gonna be uh, we've 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 built our we've built our triangle. I mean we've we've sanded down the 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 joints and everything seems to fit okay. Now we are, now what we have to do is tack it all in place. Uh, and before we do that, we need to scrape off the the waxy stuff off the outside of the bamboo so that when we when we bind it all together with the, the hemp cloth, it will adhere to the tubes rather than falling off and me dying. Right, that's suboptimal. <laughs> uh, so we've got a, a handy thing that says we should do this much scraping, but there isn't any. Um, just some red, some red line. So to the red line, but it's unfortunately like a, we don't have a red line on our tube, no. so we have to like guess. But what should it feel like? What, what would you think? 
What, when you're like scraping yeah. it away? I reckon it, it says it's got like a, a layer with silicon in. So the, the reason you can make bikes out of bamboo and they don't like rot when you take them out in the rain is because there's like silicon in the outside layer. So they're naturally weatherproof. But you can't stick stuff to it. So when we're making this, we have to scrape <coughs> that layer off. So I think it says somewhere in here. Yeah, scrape the bamboo's waxy layer off. And I think if you can see the grain of it underneath, then that's enough. So right. about a mill we have to take about a millimeter off. Okay. So I think it's only like just the outside surface, basically. We've got a couple of knives, we'll be fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. But that's it, we've got a, we'll pull this apart now and then we'll do the scraping and then we'll put it back together and we'll glue it and then that bit will be done and we can work on the back end. So we've scraped the ends of our um, <coughs> tubes and now all we're doing is just, we're, we're just wrapping them in a bit of scrap paper just to keep them clean and keep them from getting damaged while we're building up the bike and we're putting on the hemp binding. front triangle is tacked to fix the bamboo in position as if you were about to glue. It also enables you to effectively work on the rear triangle with the seat tube in a firm position. That sounds good. So it's basically some gluing I think. We need to get some epoxy going on and uh, get these tubes fixed in place. Cool. How are you with gluing? Um, probably about as bad as I am sanding and <laughs> general, this thing in general. <laughs> yeah, but you've been very helpful. Thanks. Yeah, that's all right. So this is where we've got to. Um, we started out with no bike and we've kind of made it to about a half of a bike. Um, we've done the main triangle. Uh, if I say so myself, Jack, I think we've made a decent job of it. I think we managed to like close up most of the gaps that we saw forming at, at some points, you know, and it's, it's looking as good as I could imagine it would have looked. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we've still got a few. I mean, if you look behind here, we've got a little bit of a gap there. Um, and there's a few like bits and bobs that we might have to um, we might have to fill in with a bit of sawdust and uh, epoxy resin. Sawdust and epoxy makes a little a filler. Sort right? of a wood filler, yeah. yes. It's just filling fill in the gaps. And I mean, I don't I don't think it's necessarily going to make it any strong structurally, but I think we've made a decent enough job of it that when we wrap it in the uh, the, the cloth, it'll be stiff enough for me to ride and race. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm already looking forward to. Uh, <laughs> Winning. Yes, winning, because that's what normally happens when yeah. I turn up for a, a third cat race. Uh, so yeah, I mean, sooner or later it's going to be a bike. We're going to build this up with, uh, I think we've got a SRAM force group set for it. Um, some nice carbon forks. It's going to look great. We might even paint it. Um, if you've got any questions about the bamboo bike, about this build, or about the kit that you can buy, um, just ask them in the um, comments below, we'll get them answered for you. Don't forget to um, subscribe to OTC to catch more of this build. Next thing I'm going to do, obviously, is uh, build the back end. Thanks for watching. Thank you.